Welcome to our Angular 2 tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with input fields. Our viewer wants to know how to capture the value from an input text after a delay without needing to click a button. This is a great opportunity to explore the concept of debouncing in Angular. Let's break down the issue. The viewer has tried using debounce time, but the value is still being emitted on every key press. This can be frustrating, especially when you're aiming for a smoother user experience. So, how can we effectively implement debouncing to achieve the desired behavior? Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To implement debounce in Angular 2, we first need to understand how to use observables and the debounce time operator. This will help us delay the emission of input values. In your component, you should create a subject to handle the input changes. This subject will emit values whenever the input changes. Next, we will subscribe to the subject and apply debounce time. This will ensure that the new title is only emitted after a specified delay, in this case, 500 milliseconds. Now we need to modify the input field in your HTML. Instead of calling rename directly on ng model change, we will call next on the subject to emit the new value. Finally, ensure that your rename method is called only when the debounced value is emitted. This way, you avoid unnecessary calls on every key press. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement debounce in Angular, you can use Lodash. First, install Lodash with NPM. Then, create an input field that triggers a debounce search function on Kia. In your component, import debounce from Lodash. Define the debounce search function which calls the search method after a delay of 400 milliseconds. If you want to bind to a local variable, you can set up your input with ng-model. This makes your code more readable and allows you to initialize the variable as needed. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.